Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyander, and here we are again, playing Resident Rise. And, uh, I haven't really done much. Middle of the night time, about to sleep to get this started. I moved my bed up to my cr newly created second floor. The outside follows generally the same theme, except for there's a bit of a split between the levels. And I got all this stained clay from... I don't think I ever showed it, and I moved everything. The four gold chests I had over here were the remains of what I had gotten from the castle when tearing it down. And so I decided that I was going to use it for flooring. Now, this right here, as you can see, it says carpenter's blocks and carpenter's stairs. Let me just rip this up for a second. Now, you place it on the stair, and it works like the other carpenter's blocks, except for there's a slight benefit. The fact that if you take another block, you can paste it on top, and then another one, paste it on the side, and you get this cool carpeting look. So, it's designed to look kind of like a brown carpet on the stairs that you walk up and down while still having the wood look here. And I made a basement where I moved everything. These are Mariculture fluid tanks. So, if we look at fluid tank, it's pretty easy to make. It's four copper, four wood, and a piece of glass, and you get two of them. Each one of those holds 16,000 millibuckets, or 16 buckets, of liquid. And in this case, I have four of them filled with lava, because we're going to be working with the vat and making burnt bricks. Uh, namely, because there's quite a few things I'd like to get going, although I might have made a small mistake of not being prepared enough. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, I suppose that should work. What did I do with my fluid tanks? Uh, I realized I'm an idiot, by the way. This is what I wanted. The remote orderer logistics pipe. It's made from an ender pearl, logistics pipe, and a piece of redstone. And... Ignore this. I was trying something. I uh, got everything moved down into the basement. That is not what I want. So I could get this going. Now, what I do want is if I put that there, oh, and that there, this isn't terribly useful at the moment, I must put my order in here, uh, yes. Now, if I shift right click on this, no, oh, uh, there we go, if I right click on it, you can see it says, has remote pipe, so now I can right click on this. Now, the amount of power it draws is based on my distance from the remote order pipe. Now, one energy supplier, let me just go down below, show you what I've done. So I've got the laser set up down here above the table and it's making diamond chipsets. And so this right here, it holds two hundred or two million LP. You can go I believe it's roughly I think it was ten LP per meter or something like that, or basically one of these can supply enough power for 2,000 blocks distance worth of power, but it doesn't fill up instantly, so that might cause issues at some point. However, as it currently stands, I can request blocks from my stack of things over here into the network. Now, the only downside is I need to get this set up in a way where I can actually send things back into the network. And as such, I'm going to apply these basic pipes and I'm going to hook up these item ducts, disable that, and I'm going to need a few modules. Now, if we look at logistics, uh, one second though, I'm going to get this cooking up. Alright, it's on alloy mode. Okay, so while that's cooking bricks, we want to make the extractor module. Now, as you can see, the extractor module is going to take a redstone iron chipset or an iron gear, which I've got an iron gear. I can afford to use that. But it's also going to take this blank module. Now, the cool thing is I can make paper out of sawdust. Just not in my standard 2x2 crafting inventory. So, there's our paper. Now, if we go over here, uh, do I have any gold nuggets in the system? I do. And my redstone is still over here. And I'm probably going to want to grab an iron gear. Multiple provider pipe, or one provider pipe can be connected to multiple inventories. I'm not sure about the basic 
but it'll I'll figure it out eventually. So I want not the extractor mark three. I want the regular extractor module, which is going to require two pieces of paper, that and that. Now I'm also going to need let's just where to go. Let's just click this guy real quick and make sure I have everything I need. Okay, I need the iron gear, so I need two lapis. I am not as prepared as I could be this episode. Uh, now, I want to kind of do something design-wise with these stairs, but it's going to be a bit of effort to pull off. Don't get me wrong, I still wish to try it. Oh, what am I missing? I bet I'm missing a couple of redstone or something. Those go there, don't they? Isn't that there? No. Okay, I give up. Tell me. Oh. I'm an idiot. There we go. Now, I read that it needs a chassis, which means that I'm going to need three redstone and two iron. So we're over here, we'll ask it for iron. Give us two, please. I really need something better than these pipes. You know, I'm very tempted to just uh, try to use just all basics logistic pipes everywhere. Just build the entire network out of them. No, that wouldn't actually be that hard. It would be expensive. But it wouldn't be that hard. I'm curious as to how fast things would move in the network if I did that. Or if the network would even choose to function at all if I did that. Uh, down, down, over... So, I don't know if the f network is functioning, if I look at my remote order... Oh, cool. So that should at least get me things ordered quickly. As for this pipe, it's more of sitting there as a power conduit. Because I hadn't made the power pipes yet. Whoops, that is not where you're supposed to be. I hadn't made the extra power cables yet, which I've made them now, and I've used quite a bit setting these things up. But, I don't have them hooked up. But I'm going to leave this as it is. I'm going to put this guy here and here. Hopefully that'll function. And so I've got this logistics chassis. And I'm going to put him... Oh, no, I don't want it right there. Put that there... I don't really care if things make it back into the network quickly. I just want to make sure that they make it out of the network quickly. So, if I right-click with this, the extractor module's in here. And I can choose which direction I want it to extract from, but it's just a chest. It doesn't matter. So we'll put that there, and in theory, if I were to take... Well, first of all, let's get me a chest... And something we can easily identify, so we'll get ten of these. Oh yeah, that speeds up their entry into the uh, chest quite a bit. So if I put this in here... No? Right, it's every five seconds? Although it doesn't appear to be pulling... At all... Uh, pull from the down, maybe? Hmm. Must be doing something wrong. Let's try... Putting basic pipes in here. I don't like the weird connecty bit. Why are you not pulling? Hmm. Well, apparently I'm an idiot. I'll figure that out eventually. However, what I want to do now is... Let me just go look for the sun real quick. Uh, it's been about eight minutes. Okay. 
just trying to keep track of time. I don't like going too far over 30. The last one was 35, and this one's being recorded roughly a couple hours after, but how many of these can I fit in here before it's considered too full? All of them. Okay. And I forgot my fluid pipes in here. I should only need four of them, and I'm probably going to be using 99% of this lava for this purpose. So I'm going to set him to an insert, and I actually want to start at the top. Although I'm probably... I'll set all of these to extract, but I won't disable their thing yet. So this is going to sit here, and it's going to take time, and it's going to do that. A lot of the lava is going to fill its way into the pipes, and it's going to sit there until it's ready to be used. If I ever wanted to dump it back out, I could just change one of these to input. But while that's making, I suppose I'm going to go up here. I have a practically infinite amount of iron bars from tearing that down, so all good there. The only downside is I need to get a hold of some more clay and various other things. I also need to figure out why this isn't working, but I'll probably do that between episodes or if I take a break at some point during this one. Ugh, the rain. So sick of rain. The good news is, by having my bed on the second floor, I shouldn't have any issues with monsters nearby. Hopefully. But, you know, that, that's going to be a question of its own. What I probably should do is move these, but maybe this isn't extracting because I'm, like, stupid. Probably stupid. But I don't feel like putting... Now, I know that the... Not that. Although the mod-based item sync sounds useful. The item sync module, I know for a fact, should be usable to set something up as an input. Although, I would have thought this would have been working. Hmm. Oh well. So, I suppose... Right. Uh, what did I do with it? Oh, I don't have it on me at the moment, because I pulled them out. That's why I had that diamond before. Diamond that I have no idea where it went because I was trying to use thermal expansion pipes to input into the logistic pipes network and it just died. It didn't want anything to do with that. So I'm going to make some multi parts, pretty much the same way as they used to be made in Red Power and Fort, only I'm going to. It should be, that's probably not even going to be remotely enough. So my goal here is I want to make stairs. And I want to make these too wide now that I think about it. Just to match the ones above it. Uh, I'll start here. Should be simplest to work with. I want to have the feeling that they're sort of supported in a few different places. This is not going to function without a block in place. So, what I'm trying to do here... I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to pull this off, to be honest. Uh, this is not going to work here. Well, so much for that plan. I want to try and build stairs, but I am not competent enough with uh, microblocks to do that. Not you. Now, I actually cleared this area out and rebuilt it. I made a new module for my MFFS system. It's called the Field Stabilizer Module. I had opened this up once before, and it's just made with diamond tools, some diamonds, and focus, focus matrices. And I'll fix these stairs later. What are we doing here? That's not good. Did my thing up here run out? It shouldn't have. Or maybe it should have. No, it definitely should have. Good. Uh. Oh. 
No! My glass! Uh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that. That seems like it was a stupid idea. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, okay. There. So now I don't need that there. I just. Like I said, I want to get things out of the upper place for one. That should get me moving again. Can't run this at full power, unfortunately. But, eh, talk about a laser light show. This is now empty. I don't really have any power anywhere in my system at this current moment. And I wonder, this is very dangerous. I could potentially break my game and have to MC edit that out. But, I'm assuming if it broke it, it would have been figured out by now. Because other things that broke it currently have already been disabled. Do you guys still have all your power? You do. Where'd my cardboard box go? Probably upstairs somewhere. So this allows me to reclaim all of these. And I'm not going to have enough power cable on me, I don't think. Eh, there's always that possibility that I might. Oh, I do. I retrieved enough from up top. This is going to bother me. I know it doesn't mean much, but it's going to bother me. I have to deal with it. There we go. Now, I kind of want to make an ender chest, although I don't have any blaze rods, just blaze spawners. There you are, box. So, I might have to set something up for them so I can get a hold of blaze rods, but then I'm out of obsidian. And... Yeah. Are you done? Oh, you ran out of lava. Right. How many do we have? 16? Eh, we can make do with that at this exact moment. Whoops. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to get the blacksmith anvil made, because I want to be able to repair my armor. Yeah, it's going to cost my experience to do it, but, you know, I don't care. Uh, I only need three. Yeah, that's a lot better. I don't even care that I wasted pipes doing it. I can always resolve it later, and I like it working how it is now. Do I have any nether bricks? Oh, I do. Thank you, sir. Put that there, that there, that there. Bam. One anvil. What do you want, Enderman? Ooh, Ender Pearl. Unfortunately, I have no good way to deal with that because I don't have a good way to put things into my system. This is a problem. Uh. Hmm. What was I doing again? Oh, yeah. Waiting for more of these. How many do I have? Four. That should be plenty enough. What was that? No? That? That. Okay. So. What is the one that has... The, uh, every single one of these has quite a bit off of it. Okay, we'll take this. It has 560 out of 800. Now, if you right-click this and put it on there... Oh. Wrong button. Oh, oh. Okay, here we go. Now if I left click on the anvil, I have to left click once every time, and if you look at my experience bar, you'll see it's going down. But you also see the durability on the hammers going down. So in other words, in order to repair constantly using this method, although it only drains experience and basically some clay and lava, or if I were to break down nether bricks. Now you've seen I've used 127 durability off of that, but this has gone up by 127. So this is going to be my makeshift method to repairing my armor, because, let's face it, clay and lava is cheaper than obsidian, osmium, and diamond. So I'm not going to make you watch me repair all of my armor, but I want you to see the effect whenever you finish repairing a piece. Bam! That's how you know you're done. 
Now, as you see, durability 100%. And I've been using the bow to shoot random mobs when I've been strolling around. So, there's that. I, w I need to get, like, things going on actual construction. There's going to be a lot of digging involved. Because... Well, the whole evil mastermind thing, you always have a little hidden base going on. And as such, I want to have a hidden base underneath of this place. I want to make this look like a nice, inconspicuous little house in the swamp. And then I want to have like, a super hidden base underneath of it. So, I'm not going to do any of the like major specifics, but I do, I do have plans to use... I'm going to be making carpenter's ladders for this because it's going to be part of the build. They're going to be something that's just static and there. But I also have plans to do stuff with engineer's toolbox and a bunch of other things, open computers. Oh, and look at this. Sandstone, you get two sand for sandstone. And I got sandstone from tearing... Or no, I got the sandstone from ripping out underneath of here. I don't know why, but for some odd reason, there's a layer of sandstone somewhere under here. Maybe I can't find it, but there was a layer of sandstone. That's where all that sandstone came from. And I looked at its uses to see, hmm, maybe I can get sand out of it. Yeah, and there's a, you know, two sand for every one sandstone crusher recipe. So, that greatly solves my issues of sand at the moment. Look at that. I can just take the hammer and right-click it on there and just leave it there. Now, I could go with Ars Magica and their Reconstructor, but I'm not terribly interested in that, to be honest. It, there's a difference between something for experience and something for nothing. I've never really been too happy with the idea of repairing using materials, though, because, I mean, it doesn't really solve the issue of remaking the item. Especially with vanilla repairing, you generally need the same number of materials to repair it as you needed to make it in the first place, and it's just kind of... I'm not a huge fan of that. Like, I can understand keeping a chance, but it it's stupid. I honestly find it stupid. So, I do want to get something from Mariculture going for my ore processing, although it's going to take work. Quite a bit of it. The Crucible Furnace. It takes one of the tanks, a lava bucket, heating components, and heating components take silicon carbide, and silicon carbide takes sand, clay blocks, clay, and coal. So I need to get a massive, massive amount of clay before I even work on that. So I suppose we'll get started in a simpler manner. Yeah, I could do that. Get started in a simpler manner for starting up Mariculture. Because I've asked what it can do, and it can do things. I think, you know, terribly amazing. It's not quite bees of the water, as I envision it. But it you can get some useful things from it. Like, well, first of all, let me make this net. Okay. Give me another stick, please. And I think I needed wood. All right? Sifter. Go. Cool. The sifter is how you get bait, as far as I know. But uh, before we continue, I should be able to find... Yeah, if you right-click, you know, the uses... You can make a dragon fish by breeding it with a night fish. And, but if you look at fish products, they have a 5% chance of ender pearls, and then there's the chance, there's the ender droplets, which can also make ender pearls. So rather than using some of the more obscure things, like using, say, magical plants or magical crops, if we uh, look, there's. I mean, this system's cool and all, but, I mean, everything literally becomes renewable. It would reach the point where I would never have to do any kind of mining. Ever. Now, I'm not sure how far Mariculture goes in terms of what it can do. Like, 
There's the blaze fish, which has a fish product of blaze powder. The glow fish? I'm assuming glow stem. Yep, glow stem. And apparently you can use droplets to make things like lava and whatnot, which, in my opinion, makes them infinitely more useful than bees. Because I always felt that bees were never all that useful, if that makes sense. Like, you'd get occasional things pressurized water. Huh. Strange. You, you would get things you didn't need all the time, like honey and whatnot. I never made very much use of those. Now, a lot of the base fish seem to be implemented, but a lot of them don't really seem to have uses implemented. But I mean, like this. The perch can be used to make that. Can't fish be used for? See, a lot of the things don't really seem to have too many uses at the moment. Now... I'm not sure about the sifter. I'm pretty sure you can get uh, some bait from... Oh, that's poison. We're not fishing in that. Uh, oh, there's water right here. Pretty sure you get bait from water. What am I doing here? Oh, there we go. So, not water. Uh, bait from dirt. Now, I've got some dirt in here. The entire chest is what I got from ripping out underneath my house. Oh, geez. Cool. So I've got some bait. Fish food. I'm assuming that's required for uh, feeding fish in the fish tank. <sighs> Zombies. You're a problem. What is this, the second or third time I've slept? There's one at the start. And there's... So yes, this is the third time I've slept, which means we should be roughly 20 minutes in. Uh, what kind of... I know there's different fishing poles. Uh, reed fishing pole, I can make that. Wooden fishing rod, which is made from polished sticks, which is made from fish oil in a vat. Uh, I don't really have that. And the titanium fishing rod, which... Eh. Uh, I do have the extra string. Do I have any reeds? Read no sugar cane okay. Uh I do want to make if we look at logistics pipes, I wanna make the soldering station and then the logistics request table. Cause this is a lot like the You know? I think we can make this. Quest what did I do with the request? Oh, right. This is the request pipe. I upgraded it to Mark II when I was being an idiot. Uh, put that there. So, yeah. Uh, put that there. Pick you up. This is going to make it so I temporarily can only make requests using the remote orderer, but that's fine. So I need a crafting table, some redstone... Why is there... Okay. And six pieces of iron. I realize I'm very easily distracted. Crafting table. Six pieces of iron. Uh, oh. Uh, I'll just put you there. Because I'm going to need room. Where did you come out of, Redstone? It looked like you came out of the coal one. And go. No. And go. I'm not sure if the soldering station requires power. I'll just put it here. And then if it does, it should technically draw it from the logistics network. I think. Uh, crafting to crafting requires a stone gear and a piece of redstone. Surely I have a stone gear in there. I know I have a stone gear in here somewhere. Yes. Okay, so and I'm going to need a piece of redstone. Or a stack of redstone. Whatever works. No? Ah, there we go. And then I believe it needs to be Mark II, which means I need to combine it with this. Okay, soldering station. There's your request. There's your crafting. 
We need another crafting bench, two pieces of stone, a hopper, and a chest. Uh, right, I need to use the remote orderer. I need a, that's not a chest, a chest. I need a hopper. Okay. Nope. Oh. Chest, hopper. Uh, chest here, I think. Hopper here. Two diamond chip sets and two stone bricks and a crafting bench. Crafting. Uh, stone bricks are still over here in the bin. I had 53 on me. That was unnecessary. And the two diamond chip sets are down here. I, you know, I never looked to see if I could shift click into this table. No, I can't. And it looked like I'm going to need another piece of iron. Unfortunately. I left that there. Brick, brick. Crafting table. And I believe I need a piece of iron still. Give me that, please. Thank you. Whoops. There. What am I missing? Am I missing something? Am I just stupid and don't know how this machine works? That's entirely possible now that I think about it. Lever? Hmm. Maybe it doesn't support that? Maybe there's something wrong with that crafting bench. Let's grab the other one. Okay, let's try the other other one. We'll just grab one of each since they apparently don't stack. What about you? No? Huh. Weird. I don't understand. I wonder what I'm doing wrong. That's disappointing. Wait, what goes in that slot? Does that take fuel? Uh, let's stupidly grab some coal, see if that makes a difference. I could completely understand it taking fuel, to be honest. Huh. What am I missing? Anything? Huh. This will be one of those things I'm going to figure out off camera. So, uh, I still can't believe that glass is broken now. Put everything I don't need in here, and I suppose we'll go back to fishing. So, if I put these there... Hey, wait, what is that? Oh. Really? Okay, magical crops. Now, how do I shift display usable bait? That is usable bait. Is raw fish a usable bait? Can I just right click? No? Go away, zombie. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sifter made that fishing net when placed. On water, over time, will randomly generate fish as if they are being caught with a reed rod. Uh, oh, right. That's the thing that I thought was less than useful in IRC the other day. You will need some way to collect the item entities that are produced. Fish oil is in order to make polished sticks and polished titanium rods, which is what you need for creating higher tier fishing rods. In order to obtain fish oil, you need to melt fish in the crucible furnace. Yeah, fishing rods, uh, you'll need to use them instead of the vanilla if you want to catch any of the mariculture fish or loot. Each fishing rod can use different types of bait as well as having different durabilities. Fishing, piece of cake, uh, just make sure you have a rod and a bait that can be used together, then place the bait, bait next to the fishing rod on your hot bar and fish away. Oh, okay, so if we put this here, my inventory is filled with crap. Oh. Uh, this might not work, though, because of the stuff.
this is going to be a major issue in the future, I think. Although, I can isolate that problem in the future. Well, it's bobbing, so I'm going to assume it worked. Although, I saw it splash and assumed that meant there was a fish. Oh, what'd I get? A raw minnow. What can the raw minnow make? Its fish product is water droplets, and I could use that to breed with salmon. I get a bass, which can get me gunpowder and destruction droplets. Hmm. Cool. So at least it's got a nice audible noise for when there's a fish on the line. That's another minnow. Okay, uh, let's take these extra fishing nets we have. Now, it said that we need a way to get the items out. Luckily, we have item ducks. So, we'll grab a few of those. Grab a chest. I'm going to need to do something about this. This is being a difficulty. You know what? Let's look in here, see if it's doing anything. No. Okay. Uh, grab us a chest. I have the fullest of inventories. So, I could make pneumatic servos, but that seems like work to me. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these. One, two, three. Hmm. Right. That's a problem. Maybe I should look in the uh, book some more. Is that something about a way of getting them out? Oh, right, it picks up where you left off. This is what I was talking about, the auto fisher. Uh, supply it with RF, a fishing rod, and bait that can be used with that fishing rod. The block also needs to be one above a block of water. It will work above lava in the nether. And, yeah... Only capacitor and hyperkinetic upgrades work with the auto fisher. With the capacitor upgrades increasing how much the internal buffer of RF the auto fisher has, and the hyperkinetic increasing the speed. Okay. Fish live out their lives in a fish feeder with random chances to produce a product every so often. You can obtain different fish to produce these different products by crossbreeding breeding fish that can be caught in the wild. You have a chance for these hybrids to mutate to a whole new species on hatching from fish eggs. When a fish has lived out its life in a feeder, it will die, leaving a raw form of its primary species behind. Female fish will also produce fish eggs on death. These must be placed inside of an incubator where they will be warmed and start hatching. Okay. Fish food? Made from melting down bait or fish meal. Made from crafting raw fish with itself. Or just chucking it into water around a fish feeder. What? Okay. The fish feeder is the main block used for fish breeding. I see. I see. Uh, let's go back. I want to know about the fishing net. It says you'll need a way to collect the item entities that are produced. Do they just appear on it, or... Like, what's going on here? I suppose I'll find out. I'm going to call this good for now. Uh, I believe we're reaching the 30 minute mark and I have some things to figure out. As well as th this being one of the primary things. I guess we'll pick up and I'll show you what that's for next time. And I need to sort out what's going on with this as well so I can get stuff out of my inventory. That said, I'm going to call this good and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.